hello and welcome so this uh, tutorial is about build a parametric model in Adams so basically parametric means we develop number of configurations of a mechanism or a model by using some set of parameters so here is an example of simple four bar mechanism let's say this is one configuration so this link link 1 link 2 link 3 it is a 4 bar link and grounded part so it will become a 4 bar mechanism so if you change some values so this mechanism will update automatically let's say here these are the four points so point 1 2 3 and 4 points if i change the positions of the point or locations of the point so this model will automatically update according to change in this value of parameter so you can see this model is upgraded so basically this model is parameterized that means you can study number of configurations multiple configurations of one type of mechanism so that you can study the effect of parameter on the mechanism so we will uh, start from very basic how to uh, define parameters how to parameterize the model so in parameterization we can parameterize the dimension of the geometries like here if it is a link we can uh, parameterize its width and depth uh, length we cannot parameterize for the link if it is cylinder we can parameterize also uh, if you use imported geometry you cannot parameterize dimension of the, the imported geometry in case if you want to parameterize dimension you need to build geometry in Adams then position or location of the object you can parameterize also you can parameterize operating condition so in operating condition like uh, what is the velocity what is angular velocity what is acceleration that kind of uh, operating conditions so there are different methods for uh, parameterization uh, basic one is hard points like I have shown these uh, a number of points you can create and by changing location of these points basically you can change the XYZ coordinate and you can update the model so these points are called as hard points by using design variables expression and in case of some advanced uh, section we can see scripts so scripts we can write using command language inbuilt command language of uh, Adams that is the CMD then Python language so Python is really necessary in uh, uh, today's era even if you are a mechanical engineer Python is really necessary even I have created one course called Python for mechanical engineer uh, it is available on UDMI uh, you can uh, see that course by using link given in the description and you can get it for a very discounted price so later I will come to that point so we will start with our model so let me delete this uh, bodies first I will also delete these points I will create from scratch so first I will uh, show how to create parametric model by using hard points so here I will create four points for four bar mechanism one point at this location second point let's say here third point let's say here and fourth point randomly I am creating so I will choose links so choose point one second for point two this link is created similarly second link point two to point three and point three to point four third link and fourth is a ground uh, obviously so here you can change the name L1 let's say for link one L2 for link two L3 or link 3 so we will observe uh, link 1 so you can see here there are three markers uh, 
are associated with this link 1 similarly for uh, link 2 and link 3 so basically what are these marker so cm that means center of mass it will calculate automatically if you by default it will take uh, some material it is a steel here and from that material it will calculate its um, inertia property and and by using end points it will calculate the center of marker position so marker 1 this one is the starting marker so marker 2 is a sec uh, this one so if I modify this marker so here you will see there is a some expression written here so what is that expression loc underscore relative underscore 2 0 comma 0 comma 0 and point 1 so what does it mean so location of marker 1 is at 0 0 0 in x y z direction with respect to point 1 if I change here 5 let's say I take 5 so it will change the location of uh, this link if I make 50 let's say which to visualize so it will move by using by 50 mm in x direction from point 1 so this is a expression it has automatically created expression for this marker and here also orientation it has written some marker but we will discuss in later part about this orientation expression so right now it is key phrases for marker 2 so it has uh, created expression for marker 2 and its location is 0 0 0 with respect to point 2 even if I change here let's say by 20 it will change the location so better way to keep a 0 even if you can change uh, here Y location also here so it will update the position so keep it as a 0 only so similarly you will observe for other link also and if I want to uh, update this configuration I can change the point table here and my model will update automatically so let's say here if I make point 2 as a let's say 250 and here I will hit apply so this will update automatically even link 1 and link 2 so okay so this is a very uh, nice way to create multiple configurations of a mechanism so let me create a joint so joint so link 1 second body for ground and location at point 1 don't choose marker similarly for other link 1 link 2 location point 2 then link 2 link 3 location is a point 3 then link 3 link and ground location point 4 so if you change um, location coordinate here let's say I make 800 it will update so joint is also joint location is also getting updated so if you see initially there are marker 1 marker 2 center of mass and now there are marker 7 and 9 so these marker are basically are for joint marker so marker 7 is for link 1 marker 8 is for ground marker 9 is for link 1 and marker 10 you will see is for link 2 so whenever joint is created so it will create marker for each body so here marker 7 is created for link and marker 8 is created for ground even you will see there is expression for this joint marker also so same here so I will uh, we will go through the expression also here so let me uh, explain you what is a design variable first so here le link 1 so if I want to modify so there is a width and depth dimension for the link let's see the 
isometric view and here if you go to in design exploration you will find design variable section so here I will create one design variable I will give name as let's say width of link so LW I will give name as LW which will represent width of link here there are option type of variable where it is a real integer string or object to keep it as a real you can choose also unit but uh, keep it as a you know unit so it will avoid confusion so I can assign some value to this uh, variable design variable let's say 20 and here there are option absolute mean max so you can set range let's say 15 minimum value and maximum value as 25 if you delta relative to minus 1 plus 1 and percentage so minus 10 on a lower side and 10 percent on upper side so you can choose whatever option you want then click ok and I will create one more variable for depth of the link let's say LD and let's say I will assign value co 30 here you can keep uh, percentage then ok so you can see the design variable in this section called design variables so there are so you can see LW and LD is created now I can assign this variable to the dimension of the link so I will modify the link and here I can use this variable for width so you can click right right button and here you will see the option called parameterize and here there are option create design variable if you want to create sorry it should not be empty it should have some value so if you want to create design variable so it will create some variable automatically so we don't want this one so here you can see one variable is created delete this so here you can choose a reference design variable that means already we have created two variables out of that we will choose this one so here parameters so I will choose LW ok so you can see LW is appeared here and similarly I will use LD you can type directly it is ok and here I will zoom it you can see the update and apply so you can see dimension of the link is updated now so similarly for this link also we can use this if you want to create new variable you can create and assign here so I will use same values here also LW for here LD it should be in a bracket remember so ok and for third link also so LW and LD apply if you want to different dimension you can create uh, more design variables and you can assign this variable to a particular dimension so this is a method for parameterization of the uh, mechanism let's say now we will parameterize motion as well so I will give motion to this link joint 1 so here uh, 30 degree into time so I will use velocity here and I will use 360 degree as velocity 360 degree means one complete rotation in one second so is uh, here we will simulate this for one second let's say I will keep step size as 0 0.1 I don't know whether it will complete one rotation or not depending on uh, this location of the points it mechanism may get locked so mechanism is getting locked so it may not run it's okay now here you can also create design variable for this one also so here parameterize create design variable okay so here you can 
modify it instead of 360 here okay you can keep 360 and you can modify motion dv into 1d that means dv1 value of dv1 is the 360 into 1d for degree so it will take 360 degree if i change the value of dv to 90 so its velocity will become 90 so if i run it so it will not uh, complete the rotation it is it is lock i need to change the location of the uh, points so that it will update so later the, uh, you can try on your own so this was the first tutorial in this series so in next uh, tutorial we will see how can we write expressions basically this expressions we have seen uh location uh, where it is no i need to use marker location relative to orientation expression and there are different expressions available in the adams and also scripting part will cover later because uh, it is quite uh, advanced one so if you go to the documentation of adams so in parametric section we will see how Uh, there are three analysis associated with parametric analysis tool one is the design study second is the design of experiment and last one is the optimization we will see the example of each one design study design of experiment that is doe and optimization so uh, this is was the just introduction to parametrization and in subsequent tutorial we will see how can we use this kind of uh, parametric tools for automating our model process also uh, i talked about python and python is really necessary it is not like that i am promoting my course but really you uh, in every simulation software right now python is used you can ask uh, to any industry person you will come came to know that uh, python is now essential language for mechanical student as well to write simulation scripts so we will also cover the python part uh, uh, for adams as well how to write script and if you are really interested in the python course uh, i have given link in the below description you can use uh, that link and it is a discounted Uh, uh course i have uh, created for particularly my youtube subscriber you will find it at a uh, 60% discount for our youtube subscribers uh don't forget to share and subscribe our videos and also share to your friend uh, about python course and thanks for uh, supporting us thank you